So this is the new. Uh, this is a lot thicker, too bigger here. Oh yeah, it's a lot heavier. This is made of steel. This is uh, the eight degree rake. As you can see, the difference. The one in the background is the. This is the old one. The original one's out of the, the Yeah, the original steel. one. This is aluminum. This one's made out of steel and then chrome. And you can see this. The angle of the shaft here is supposed to be eight degrees. So put one behind the other, you get a, kind of an idea. That's pretty, pretty, pretty angle there. And then this is the top part, huh? Oh man, that thing is heavy. Sure looks pretty though, huh? Nice, nice chroming job there. So we're gonna put this together, uh, slap it together today, and uh, see how it looks. It's nice weather out right now. Nice day to do some working on the trike here. That's what we got with the back part on already and the lights and everything hooked up. So we'll get started. What else do you got over here to been waiting on? Oh, this is the trunk. This stuff we've been waiting on. This has like a padding on it. Like a backrest. This thing gets scratched or anything? Uh -huh. and that's it so we'll get started on that okay we got the uh, forks on so the angle here and now we gotta hook up the handlebars the headlights the bug deflector and uh, what is that thing called there that's shaped like the Harley symbol over there, isn't it? Highway bars. Highway bars. This is the angle here. Turn this wheel. Make sure that's straight. <coughs> All right, let's get them handlebars on and. Uh, Get moving along. All right, here's where we're at. We're almost done putting this front end on. We ran into a couple of problems because this was a two wheeler before, and we switched it over to eight degree rake. The angle of the headlight was pointing down, so we had to raise it up. So what we did, we stuck a nut because there's no adjustment for this headlight. We stuck a nut here to raise this headlight up to where it brings it back more level instead of pointing straight to the ground. And the second problem we ran is this bug thing here. It was angled more like this right in his face. So we came up with this bracket thing here that here's the original bracket, but we're gonna put an adapter from here to here that pushes this the the bug shield back up more like that. And then we're gonna put the front foot thing here, I forget what it's called. This, this thing right over here. Highway bars, yeah, that's right keep forgetting the knee with it. I'm going to put that on and then it's almost ready to go. Mm. Got the towel on there so we don't scratch the paint up on the tank. But uh, We still got to put the back trunk lid on. But this is what it's looking like. So overall it's an easy kit to do. 8 degree rake. There's some small little problems in there that we had. Of course, it needs to be washed too. But let me finish up the finishing touches and then I'll get some more filming on there. Get it almost all done there. <clears throat> all right, there you have it, Project Conda VTX. It's uh, complete as far as the kit goes. The only thing that isn't done is just this back accessory piece, but that's how it's going to look once it's bolted on. <clears throat> it was a two-wheeler, then converted to a three-wheeler, and it was very, very, very easy to do. So I just got 
Just to have to set up that accessory, you got to make a bracket to bolt this trunk on. And uh, finish the foot pegs for the passenger, but other than that, it's complete, right? The main parts is everything is done. Here's that O-ring. <coughs> Project three-wheeler is finished. It looks really good. We haven't ridden it yet, but it's all ready. Just needs to be registered now.